Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian, and we are about to go live on It's 420 Somewhere video podcast, and it's True Crime Thursday, guys. I'm excited. We are looking at deathbed confessions. These are uh, normal Joes like you, like me, like all of us who are on their deathbed, and they're uh, spilling the beans about uh, affairs, about murders, about souls being taken. Oh man, it's crazy. And we're introducing a new segment, guys. We are introducing an AI robot assistant who's going to make the graphics based on the headlines of the deathbed confessions guys oh it's crazy it's crazy just to give you a little taste just to get you what you might be seeing guys just to get you a little a little a little a little um look at this boop but don't look at it too long (laughs) that is a deathbed confession guys I'm excited. I hope you're excited, guys. We're going to get into it on its 420 Somewhere podcast right now. It's time to start the show. to go with the it's 420 somewhere podcast with your host with the most the man voted most likely to smoke out with a yeti mr brian brown mr brian brown now sit back and relax because it's time to go live across the world because it's 420 somewhere What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Guys, how's everyone doing? It's got to be 420 somewhere. That's right. I am your host, Brian Brown. And what this is, guys, is this is a weekly Monday through Friday. I guess it would be daily. Monday through Friday um, podcast, guys, that we go live and we count down to 420 and we get into a whole mess of trouble in the meantime. We do movie Mondays. We do, hey, we got this Monday, we got gremlins coming up, guys, with a lot of surprises, maybe some giveaways, maybe some autographs. You never know. Um, and not my autograph. I'm talking gremlin autographs, guys. You never know. So make sure you tune it in for that. We do two crime Tuesdays. Or no, I'm sorry, parent normal Tuesday guys were there bodies giants were there giants 
Were there giant bodies found in the Mojave Desert? Were there giants in the Mojave Desert at one time, guys? That's really fascinating to me, especially uh, the Native American. We, well, we jumped into it, guys, and we got into a whole mess of stuff. But uh, um, the Native Americans uh, talk about the giants and uh, and with the red hair. And I'm wondering if they were the Vikings or, like, uh, yeah, you got a lot of different... Uh, Different theories on that, guys. But we got Weed Wednesday. We looked at uh, Skywalker OG, the history and the lore of it yesterday, guys. Today was True Crime Thursday. And we're getting into deathbed con- uh, con- conventions. Deathbed con- confessions, guys. Deathbed confessions. Um, I found these really interesting. So these are uh, people on their dime. These are normal people. These aren't criminals. Uh, we're going to get into that one day. These are uh, just normal people, and they confess to horrendous, crazy things um, on their deathbed. But... You know what, guys, real quick before we jump into the top five at 420, which is the craziest videos on the web, and we're looking at the dumbest criminals today, guys. So the dumbest, uh, the craziest videos on the web with the dumbest criminals. Oh, man. Woo, I started uh, 420 a little early, and it's uh, hitting me, guys. Um, so uh, I want to introduce someone new, guys. We got a, a new uh, co-host, if you will, a virtual assistant. Um I, you know, um, doing the graphics and everything, it's time consuming on this. So I went ahead and I reached out to the future, <sighs> reached out to the future guys. And I got, let's see if that works out any better. And I got a virtual AI assistant guys, meet, meet Mary Jane the robot guys this is the 420 virtual ai assistant that's right <laughs> so what we did is i had mary jane go ahead and whip up um based on the the deathbed confessions not conventions, confessions um i had mary jane the robot the ai sp- marijuana smoking robot um whip up graphics and uh animations based on the deathbed conf- confessions so we will see what that's going to be all about guys i'm very intrigued on uh, how that's going to turn out <laughs> it's going to be a mess it's going to be a mess but yeah so we're going to get into that on true crime thursday guys i'm excited it's going to be a good one um but first guys let's get into the top five at 420 brought to you by the healing center 1400 needles highway needles california right across the bridge the first thing you're gonna see and uh what these are guys these are the dumbest criminals we scoured the internet looking for the top five at 420 and uh we ended up getting the dumbest criminals guys and I'm excited about this one. Um, there's some good ones. <laughs> there's some damn good ones. All right, let's get into it right now, guys. And... Who missed that at night? That's right, top five. Brought to you by the Healing Center, 1400 Needles Highway, Needles, California. Right across the bridge, save some green on some green. What we got? Boom. Oh, he didn't. What, did he have a bag? <laughs> didn't even have a gun. Uh, he came in with that old that old gag. Hey, I'm going to rob you. I got a gun in this bag. And dude pulled out a gun. <laughs> uh, that did not go well for him. All right, number four, guys. All right, we got, is he, uh, we got someone robbing a store clerk? Look, oh, yeah, that's definitely what this is. What is she doing? Sits back down. Ringing the guy. Uh, she's too busy. She's too busy to be around. Uh, and Grandma goes and shoes her in my way. <laughs> uh, we got a guy. He's serious. This guy. Oh, dang, he's dead serious. What is he gonna get? The ATM? Is he one of these guys? Oh, but he didn't connect. <laughs> uh, uh, 
He's like, ah, it's just too much work at this point. And he leaves. <laughs> All right, number two, guys. Oh, we got a oh, little home invasion action going. Oh. No, I open up. I'm like, no. No, we're good. Boom. Oh. <laughs> those guys. Oh, my God. Those guys are no masterminds, are they? Bam. Oh. <laughs> They're running. <laughs> oh, the three stooges. The four stooges. All right, number one, guys. Is a subway? Yeah, it totally is a subway. What did he just grab? Oh, shit. Guy fell. <laughs> He's just like, whatever, man. I would stop manhandling me, is what I would be like. Do what you need to do, but get off me, man. And, oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, walked right into it. That was your top five at 420, guys. Brought to you by the Healing Center. 1400 Needles Highway, Needles California. Save some green on some green. Yeah, uh, just read up their stock, guys. I'm going to be dropping a video um, either tonight or first thing in the morning. I'm going over to shoot it tonight, so I'm excited about that. I am also excited about meeting up with uh, Bad Culinary, guy. The winner, winner, chicken dinner of the Chucky Prize, guys. I'll make sure I have a photo of him receiving his... Uh, triple threat pack that's very very cool guys um, i'm excited all right guys get out those dab rigs get out those pipes get out those bongs what you got smoking on i'm getting into some everyday dabs but what are you guys getting into because it is 420 <laughs> How was your 420, guys? Ooh, I was getting in some everyday dabs. You ain't dab unless it's everyday dabs. I'm going to work on that jingle, guys. But uh, I threw some shatter in the old uh, Wooka. Finally got that thing working, man. Um battery issues with this one i think it may be just the the one i got i don't know can't leave a bull hanging man you gotta clear it you gotta clear it guys you all know that all right ah nothing smoother than an everyday dab <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. How was your 420? Uh, what did you get into? Blow up those comments, guys. We are getting ready to uh, get into some January craziness. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Don't forget to check out Baked and Unboxed from last week, guys. We'll be announcing uh, winners um, on Sunday. Woo. Made me a little good right there. 
Um, we'll be announcing winners on Sunday. Um, what are we? Uh, got a lot of different giveaways. Uh, check out those baked in unboxes, guys. Um, we are also giving away. Uh, from the movie Haunt. If you guys haven't checked out this movie, I haven't yet. Maybe we do a watch along next week. Yeah, you know what? Um, I will work that out. We, uh, maybe we do a, a watch along party um, sometime in the next couple weeks. And then uh, we watch the movie Haunt. And then at the end of it, we're going to give away the mask, signed mask from a Haunt and an 8x10 from the movie Haunt. Um, I'll have all the photos and everything on that, guys. I'm trying to get this uh, up a little earlier and finish. Uh, man, that lag was killing me yesterday. We had a great, great episode in the lag. So I'm trying to get these out a little quicker and a little less uh, problematic, if you guys know what I mean. All right, so stay tuned for more great giveaways, guys. Uh, I've been going through my autograph collection. I got a lot of killer stuff. I'm working on uh, games and different things we can do this month and next month. Um, you know, a lot of good stuff going on, guys. But today is True Crime Thursday, guys. production value <clears throat> all right guys so today we are looking at deathbed confessions so these are uh you know i need we need to look into like some criminal ones but these are some of these are criminal these are more uh family members though that are on their deathbed and like i i talked about so uh we're gonna go through each one of these and we're gonna do the confession and then uh Mary Jane, the AI robot, went ahead and whipped us up a bunch of graphics to go with these pictures or with these stories. So we're going to see if it, <laughs> oh God, we're going to see. All right, here we go, guys. The first one, let me get rid of this real quick. All right. All right. My mom had a patient who was terminally uh, who was terminal and confessed to killing his twin brother in Vietnam so he could blame the death on the war, steal his identity and then return to the U.S. to be with his brother's wife. Holy crap. The wife had passed years earlier and the patient's children blamed the confession on dementia until after his passing. But as it turns out, the patient's daughter ended up finding handwritten confessions from decades earlier stuffed in an old Bible. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a little insane. So, if I could find it here, these are all jumbled. Oh, man, good AI uh, assistants are hard to find, guys. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to have to do it this way. Give me one second, guys, here. Oh, Rosie. All right. So the, all right, so this is the first one that Mary Jane, the AI robot, came up with. So this is the graphic of I killed my brother in Vietnam <laughs> and came back and stole his wife and his identity. <laughs> and uh, there's no shortage of these guys. We got three of them for each one. All right. So <laughs> the next one, <laughs> that looks like a graphic novel. The story even is like... <laughs> Oh, and then I love this one. You got to look at this one. <laughs> I killed my brother in Vietnam, made it look like the war did it, so I could steal his identity <laughs> and steal his wife. Wow. The length some people will go. All right. 
A great aunt of mine says that when her husband was on his deathbed, he confessed that he had actually shrunk two of her favorite and expensive sweaters by drying them many years earlier. She thought maybe someone broke in and stole her things because he threw them away to hide the evidence. For years, she had hoped that they might turn up. She said that she even suspected one of her friends may have stolen them at a party. Nope, he was afraid to admit that he had ruined them for like 20 years. She forgave him, obviously, and they had a laugh about it um, right near the end. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're going we're gonna to ask Mary Jane the Robot what graphic she came up with and here we go guys this is i shrunk your sweaters and threw them away that's my that's, <laughs> that's actually kind of sweet man um of all the things to be worried you know what that's how you know you lived the damn good life is when that's what you're worried about on your deathbed here we go here's another one that mary jane did <laughs> And last but not least, we got, <laughs> oh my God, you know, it's AI, folks. They uh, they hear what they want to hear. They do what they want to do. Um, we are just in, <laughs> we're in their world at this point. Oh, man. All right, up next, guys, is I had a patient who was 86 years old and put a bunch of crosses around the room. I had to ask her to take them down due to the inability to create care she needed. She insisted they all stay up because it was one cross for each soul she took. If that's true, she took 14 souls. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know what? If someone's that insistent, too, it makes you, makes you wonder. Oh, my God. That's that's crazy. Like, you know, it's one thing. Like, you're not showing out at that point of your life. Like, you're not worried about, like, oh, I want him to think I'm a serial killer. Who, which I don't know why anyone would want that to begin with. But you're not making up lies that seem cool. You're not a kid, you know. Um, so... What do we got? All right, so 14 souls. She hung up 14 crosses. What did Mary J, the AI robot, come up with? <laughs> okay. Why does she have three hands? <laughs> she needed that third hand for all the souls she took. Oh, my God. The next one. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. That's uh, That's just crazy. <laughs> and last but not least <laughs> that's a lot more what is that oh is she like holding her arm up or what is that is that a creepy arm coming behind her what is that it's like ah that's one of the 14 going to sucker to hell man <laughs> all right next one my great-grandmother told us her birthday was October 30th, her whole life. On her deathbed, we found out it was October 31st. She and her family had lied for 80 years out of superstition. Paperwork proved it after she was gone. You know what? Uh, old school, man. That is definitely old school. Um. Those superstitions, man, especially people from the old country, like uh, Italian grandmas, and uh, like my grandma was superstitious to a to a degree. Um, she was French Canadian, so you know there wasn't too much uh, too much of it going on. Oops, I did that twice. All right, so guys, we're gonna ask Mary J the robot to uh, tell us. What graphics she picks on this, guys. All right. So this is uh, Superstition Lied About Her Birthday. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 
Uh, next one. <laughs> it looks like, from this picture, it looks like she's lying about a lot more than just uh, <laughs> than just uh, uh, <laughs> about her birthday. All right. Last but not least. Oh, Grandma, why you lie to us for so long? <laughs> oh, she looks like a superstitious grandma. These, these aren't actual photos, guys. Like I said, we're, we're uh, leaving, living it up to the, the AI to, uh, <laughs> to tell us on this one. All right, up next we got when my grandma when my grandpa was dying he confessed to my mom my mom that uh, her younger brother was not his biological son my grandma had passed away years earlier and had gone to her grave with the secret my grandparents were not together and lived separately but during that time uh, it would have been scandalous to have a child by another man. My grandfather raised my uncle like he was his own son, and had none of, and had and none of the kids or anyone suspected he had a different dad. It wasn't until years later when my mom told my uncle he and he didn't care, but no one in our family knows. Even I found out by accident. Ooh, some old school. Family secrets, but you know what, man? Those. <laughs> I'm just, sorry, guys. I'm looking at the graphics. <laughs> but that's a that's an old school. Um, I I don't even know what to say about some of these. That's an old school stand up dude. Like they weren't even together, and he was like, you know what? Uh, let me handle this. And so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think this might have been the Halloween one so <laughs> I think this was actually the Halloween one but this one is true this is what Mary J the robot came up with for this story I raised my ex-wife's love child as if it was my own <laughs> Oh my God! And then uh, what? What else you got for us, Mary Jane? Uh, Mary Jane. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh, oh my God, God! <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Oh, that's just hilarious. Oh man. Uh, you know what? We'll do this one. Why not? Uh, actually, hang on, guys. Give me one second here. I want to make sure I get the right one. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right. My dad told me that when his grandfather was about to die, he had finally told his family why he had a tattoo on his arm. It was always a mystery because he was a pastor at a church and he never spoke of it. Apparently, when he was 19, he was a safe cracker and robbed a bank and got arrested. So he got the tattoo in prison. But when he got out, he decided to never tell anyone and he turned his life around. Wow, that's actually a really cool story. Like, that one has some legs to it, too. Um, yeah, like, he turned his life around. Like, and what a, you know, it kind of shows uh, the shame he had for uh, doing that. Like, he, the fact that he never told anyone and that he just went, you know, like, wow, that's actually pretty good. And he became a minister. Wow. So, what would Mary Jane, the robot, have us believe this tattoo look like <laughs> Gardar <laughs> Oh my god Oh my god guys Oh <laughs> Could this be the tattoo of a safe cracker <laughs> What's wrong with this face? Is it like Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Like, uh... <laughs> oh, I don't understand. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, 
me find another one here, guys. Hang on. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's one for us here. Before my grandma passed, she told us she hated being married and raising kids. She said she wanted to do so many things she could never do, but that she still loved everyone more than anything. My mom later passed away with the same type of regrets. Oh, oh that's, that's, a, that's a horrible one. You know what? Um, a lot of that, man, society... Um, you know, you, you, you kind of forced to get married at a younger, it's like kind of led you to believe certain things. Um, but you know, what do you got for us, Mary J? What's the graphic? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, I so don't understand. <laughs> Oh, there's one more I want to end with. Oh, definitely I need to end with one more. And then we will find, um, this is this is the last, this is the next one about regret, guys. So, <laughs> what, what, what is that? Is that like a tremor coming out to like get him? What is that coming out of his side? Oh, my God. Mary Jane, what are you smoking on over there? You're supposed to be helping us. <laughs> Oh, there was one more I wanted to find for. Oh, this. Uh, yeah, this is this is a good one. All right. And finally, my grandmother told all of us kids, me and my grown cousins, that she had a tattoo of the outline of Texas on her ass. The nurse in the room burst out laughing and then confirmed it was true. So we need to see what Mary Jane, the robot, the AI robot, has to show us. Boop! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! That's scandalous. <laughs> and do we have one more in the house? And an actual photo of my butt. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. That is insane. That is insane. What about this one? What on earth is going on with that photo. There was one more I wanted to uh, oh, I wanted to share with you guys. Where on earth was it? Um oh yeah, that's the one. So um deathbed confession um can't find it so I'm just gonna tell you guys because I got the photos all geared up and the photos are insane so um, on her deathbed a grandmother had confessed to uh, having a stillborn uh, baby and not knowing uh, what to do with it because at that time it would have been shameful to uh, you know to admit that something like that happened and so what she did was she uh, put it in the freezer where it stayed forever. And so I asked Mary Jane, the AI robot, to uh, come up with what off of that description. And uh, here's what we came up with. <laughs> uh, I have no words. Uh, <laughs> I have... Absolutely no words. <laughs> uh, it's not me. It's the AI robot, guys. <laughs> if you have complaints, complain at info at AIrobot.com. That is right. Complaints at AIrobot.com. Oh, man. All right, guys. So that was your True Crime Thursday Deathbed Confessions. All right. <laughs>
That was some good times, guys. Oh, man. Uh, all right, guys. Big shout out to everyone out on here. All the usual suspects. You guys know who you are. You know, uh, I'm going to actually, uh, um, we've been talking about revamping the Ballers Club into something different. Um, so, you know what? We might do a usual suspects. And uh, everyone who's a usual suspect will, of course, get the free pass right off the bat, whatever we do. Be behind the scenes, uh, sure. We'll do something, uh, nothing fancy. We, uh, we're easing back into this thing guys um i'm excited i got a ton of ideas um going to meet bad culinary right now to drop that off and then i will be getting with Teresa deller um in the next day or so guys actually probably tomorrow um yeah uh, by the weekend um i have to think what day it is man that uh, short week kind of threw me all off and uh make sure everyone's getting all their stuff this week guys um if not uh by the weekend it'll be like monday at the latest all right appreciate you guys so much um kingman crew the kingman crew Boop, boop, boop. Um, we got you covered too. Um, I will be uh, figuring out a day I'll be up at the studio, and I'll just jump over to Kingman, meet you guys, or we'll uh, we'll figure out how to get it over to you. Big shot up, the big shot up, big shot up to all you guys. Boop, boop, big shot up. That's the next shirt. <laughs> big shout out to everyone out there, guys. Lonnie, Teresa Deller, Anthony, Susie, everyone who's on here. Um, Really appreciate you guys. Uh, Magic Mike. Nova Mike's in the house. <laughs> Magic Mike. We need to get together soon, Magic Mike. All of us need to get together soon, guys. All right. I am going to I'm gonna take off, guys. But before I do, I just want to leave you with um, some of the ones that did. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the tattoos that didn't make the cut, guys. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then there was a story about a uh, grandma who uh, came from Cuba, and she would hide cash everywhere. And when she died, they had to go and uh, look for it. So these are some of the Cuba. <laughs> oh my God, some of these AIs, guys. Some of these AIs are just insane. Uh, we'll get it. We'll play with that a lot more in the future. But uh, <laughs> uh, blow up those comments, guys. Let me know how you liked it. If you enjoyed uh, the AI aspect, um, if you had a good time, blow up those comments. Let me know, guys. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you tomorrow at 710. We'll be getting into some more trouble as we get high and countdowns to some good times, guys. All right, we will see you in the morning. Peace. Thank you for joining us on the It's 420 Somewhere podcast. Broadcasting worldwide and brought to you by thedailydank.com. Check, Check out our merchandise and amazing, amazing content. content. And follow us on all our social media. Now, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here.